Good morning, everyone. My name is Mike Rennick. I'm the senior broker, the team lead with Team Rennick Real Estate Services, part of that great Keller Williams on the Water family based out of Sarasota, Bradenton, serving the west coast of Florida. It is Thursday, September 27th. Boy, it's hard to believe, but this month is almost over. We'll be into the cooler month of October shortly. Each and every day, I try to bring a program to you that has content that makes a difference. It's not that I enjoy being in front of a camera, but there are certain things I feel very strong about. And on, on this episode, this is real estate done right. Mike takes the gloves off. It's about things that I see out there that just aren't fair or they just don't make sense. And today I want to briefly talk about single agency versus transaction broker. There are three or four different types of relationships that real estate agents can have with a customer or a client. The two most predominant are transaction broker and single agency. And let me, let me break it down this way. My, my problem is that not everyone has to disclose. Not that there's different types, because I think everyone should be allowed to choose the kind of relationship they want with the real estate agent. That's a personal decision for the buyer or seller, and I respect that. What I struggle with is the traditional agent, the transaction broker, doesn't have to disclose that they're held to a lesser standard of behavior. So most of the agents in Florida are transaction brokers, and transaction brokers have a different level of behavior they're held accountable to, and it's not at the level that single agents have, and Eric and I both hold a single agency license. So let me talk about the difference. And, and I'll lay this out on the web page. I'll actually um, embed a table under the video. But the biggest thing is a single agent works for you. And we have to disclose under Florida law. A transaction broker does not work for you. They do not have to disclose. They actually work for the deal or their broker. So I found a sentence that says a single agent is defined by Florida statute chapter 475 part one as a broker who represents either the buyer or the seller of real estate, but not both in the same transaction. It is the highest form providing the most confidence to the customer that the realtor represents only the customer's interests. So under the definition of single agent, it is the highest form we're held to the highest standard of behavior. Basically, a single agent has a fiduciary responsibility to you. Fiduciary means a licensee, has an ethical and legal responsibility to you, their principal. The responsibility is laid out in disclosure documents the principal signs. So bottom line, a single agent is held to a higher standard and they work for you. They have a fiduciary responsibility and ethical behavior. So here are the differences. In the terms of confidentiality, a single agent, Eric and I, I required full confidence. Anything that you share stays with us. No exceptions, no dancing around the bush, none of that kind of stuff. It stays with us unless you ask us to release it to the other side. A transaction broker has limited confidentiality. Not everything has to remain secret. We're also required for obedience and full disclosure. By working for you, we have to follow your direction as long as it's legal and it's ethical. Full disclosure is full transparency, telling you everything, showing everything. Transaction broker isn't required for obedience or full disclosure. So in summary, I wanna keep these videos short. There's two major types of agents in Florida, a single agent, which Eric and I are, and we're proud of at Keller Williams, and there's a transaction broker. The majority are transaction brokers. They do not have to tell you that they're held to a lesser standard of behavior. They do not have a fiduciary responsibility and they do not work directly for you. That's the difference. A single agent has all of those things. I'm sharing this so that you understand there are differences. If you've had a real estate transaction and you haven't had this conversation, your agent is a transaction broker. The more that you know about this, the more that it allows you to select the right agent for you and move towards that finish line of a purchase or a sale. If you have any questions, reach out and let me know. I'd be happy to address those. My personal cell, which is 941-400-8735. My email is mike 
at teamrunning.com. I'll be happy, happy to address any question, any concerns that you have. We'll be back again next week on Thursday with other issues similar to this. We've talked in the past of transaction fees where brokers tack on costs, um, ethics versus certain contracts. We'll continue to bring things that I think everyone needs to know there's a difference so that when you make a decision, if a, like in this case, if a transaction broker is right for you, absolutely excellent. If instead you want a higher level of behavior, you move to the single agent kind of a person. Let me know if you have any questions. Again, this is Mike Rennick. It is Thursday, September 27th. Thank you for watching either the live broadcast or the recording down the road. I appreciate that. The most important question I can leave you with today is how can I be of help to you? Reach out, 941-400-8735 or Mike at Team Rennick. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Have a great Thursday.